Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. That was worst, world's worst intro ever. Anyways, hope you guys will enjoy this new video where I'm gonna show you what this entire thing does. You guys enjoy? Let's get right into it. Anyways, starting from over here, we have a light switch and the tunnel to turn off all these lights. Y'all seen that in the last video. And that's the main show switch. This is the thing switch. I explained this perfectly, but in case you didn't see the last video, this switch outputs comes through here over the computer line and it goes down into a tunnel, powers a piston underneath this block, and hard power, soft power. So this is hard, or is, um, so this redstone right here is soft powering this block and this block. So if there's redstone here and here, it'll get powered. But if there's a block, a block and then redstone, it won't get powered. But if this is, if there was a repeater here, then there was a block, then there was redstone, then it would get powered. What the repeater does is it hard powers this block, which then that's block, that block's like, oh, I'm looking for a spot to output, I have redstone, so I can output, I have, I can output redstone. Oh wait, there's redstone right here, so I'm gonna output my redstone into this redstone, which on the redstone does the, uh, shoots the fireworks into the air from the dispenser. But, over here at the main, what should I, let's, main show switch, when you flip this, it goes over here, goes over the comparator line, comes through another comparator line, and then it comes over here, which then goes into both of these comparator lines, I'm gonna go to this one so I don't have to run all the way across there. But these are both the same side, the same on either side, that are not when it has the two repeaters that just go into the middle there. But this one will instantly get powered. One tick later, this will get powered. Two ticks later, this will get powered. Three ticks later, this will get powered. Five ticks later, this will get powered. And then there is eight ticks of delay over here until all these middle ones get powered. And then coming off of the middle ones, that gets launched at the same time. But then there's a repeater line coming over here that go into this. Some of these uh, have fireworks, others don't. Mostly they don't. But, if you come over here, all these have fireworks in them, not very interesting fireworks. Like I said in the last video, none of this back here matters, no one can see it anyways. So I'm probably just gonna take a wire from here and just run it over there at some point, but I'm not gonna do that right now. But, then if you come up here, it comes and it powers all this, and then same thing over there, except there's a line right here. Goes into this comparator line, which sends over to this block of nine, and then there's a repeater comparator line, a comparator repeater line, I don't know. But that comes over here, over here to what I call the dress. I, it just stuck with me. But uh, yes, then that is the end of the show. But that's not the end of the video. I'm gonna cut to when I get into another world and I'm gonna show you how to build your own firework show. Okay guys, now we are in a brand new world. I literally just created this world. <sighs> Anyways, let's create our own, let's create our own thing, our firework show. So. First things that you're going to, going to want to do, if you're on Bedrock, go to this, this tab, the uh, items tab, one with the torch to bed in the water bucket, and you're going, to want to, you're going to want to go all the way down to the bottom. Grab, get redstone, comparators, repeaters, um, any block of your choice. I'm just going to pick stone bricks. But yeah, go to the building tab for that normally. And then you're gonna want dispensers, dispensers, and should be all you need. Oh, and a lever. 
So the very first thing you're going to want to do is place down your lever, then take comparator line, actually even before that really, is pick out where you want all of your fireworks to be and place down your blocks of fireworks. I typically do blocks of nine, but you can also do like strips and stuff. I like to do blocks of nine. I had to do a bunch of strips. Get out of here, stupid sheep. But uh, yes, I'm gonna do a little strip, a little time lapse. Me just placing in, <laughs> just placing in some of these. So yeah, let's get right into this time lapse. And that was the final block for this. So what you're gonna wanna do for something that's raised up like this is you're gonna wanna place down a block, a block, a block, and a block. And then we're actually just gonna run redstone off this into there. But over here you don't need to do anything. But then you're gonna place down your lever. And I would suggest a comparator line going to where you're gonna go and that's how I would suggest you do it I'm not saying that's the only way you can do it I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do it there is plenty of other ways to do it you could do a redstone repeater line if you wanted to but I just like I just like doing this it is simple easy and not too complicated. It's quite simple. You should not be an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's just run. I'm just gonna run this redstone. It's gonna be pretty boring. Boring task. Actually, we don't even have to do this. So that means that's done. Hm. I need to do this. Go down to the bottom. <laughs> I should have done this when... I should have done this when I did that, but uh, we need to turn off mob spawning, mob griefing, and entities drop loot. And then we're gonna do slash kill at E. T up, enter. T up, enter. T up, enter. T up, enter. There you go. Other than me, there is nothing in this world. That's kind of creepy. But, what you're going to want to do is take from your first block, your main block, basically, and you're going to want to run redstone, actual redstone, up and into, you actually only need to do the middle block of here. But I'm just gonna go like that, so that gets powered. And there isn't really. Anyways, let's try flipping this. Oh, right, I'm a ding dong. All the redstone. But there's then that. So I guess I'll put a repooper right there. Means all the rest over there is good. Alright. Should work. So, now all we need is a crafting table. And I'll show you how to craft every single firework that you're gonna need. So, first things first, search die. So, D Y E. Uh, no space. Do that. And then you're gonna, I'm gonna get yellow die, green die, and lime die. Then go over to your items tab. And actually, you can put these in your crafting table. You're gonna want to get, for a creeper one, you want to get a wither skeleton skull and put that in there. And then uh, to make, and then you're gonna want to put a fire charge in there. Oh, wait, that's not gonna work with that. But then you want to get gunpowder, and that'll make a firework star. And then just 
shift click or whatever. And then what you're going to want to do after that is take paper, put that in the middle, doesn't matter. This is just my way I like to do it. And then surround it on the right side like that. And then place a firework charge. And then you have your fireworks. Which yeah. But all you're going to need to do is like that. And then I'll show you that these side ones will work with that. So three. Yep. But yeah, we have three things. That's how that works. I'm not going to craft up everything for this because it took an hour like half an hour to 45 minutes just for crafting the fireworks on my fireworks show that I made so I'm not gonna go and invest too much time into this but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video see y'all next time hopefully it'll actually be a let's play video I don't know but see y'all next time goodbye <laughs>